it hurts. Isn't Rick back from Gippsville yet? Oh, I'm expecting him any minute. What have you got on the menu tonight? Everything except the chowder. I think I made a bad batch earlier today, but don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> Do you want some wine while you decide? No, no, this is takeout. I gotta get dinner for the folks at home. No time to cook tonight, huh? I haven't had time for anything since Alice left. In fact, I even put up a notice on the bulletin board at the hospital this morning for a temporary housekeeper, believe it or not. But I haven't heard from anybody yet, so I don't know. Well, why don't you put up a notice in here? All kinds of people are looking for work on the waterfront. Have you got a pen? Have I got a pen? I've got pen, paper, everything you need. Good, thanks. Listen, what I will do probably is just take four fish and chips dinners. Keith, you hear that? Aqua fish? Yeah. I'll drop them in the soup. Thank you, rose. thank you. Look at those pens. Yeah, yeah, I keep this stuff around. Paper in every color. This is for when Mike comes down. You know how much he loves to draw. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, uh... Housekeeper wanted. How's that for a great way to start? Straight to the point. I'll tell you, whoever gets this job is going to have a tough act to follow. My Alice is pretty terrific. Housekeeper needed. Oh, I meant to tell you, I got a postcard from them today. You did? She and Susan are having just a great time. Where was it mailed from? Oh, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it was some exotic port in the Virgin Islands. Okay, here's what you have to do. You have to not tell Monica where that postcard was mailed. I mean, I don't care if she gets down on her hands and knees and holds her breath until she turns blue. We are not... Hi. I'm Walt Abel from the Acme Employment Agency. Oh. Oh, the bartender. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank goodness, darling. Come this way. I have got so many things to tell you. I'll take... Are you certified with this sort of thing? Welcome aboard, Mr. Gray. I've been waiting quite a while for you. What took you so long? I'd wanted to wait to make sure you hadn't called in the police. Now, why would I do that? Why wouldn't you? I wouldn't want to scare you off. You thought that was possible. In this game, Mr. Gray, obviously anything is possible. This game is far from finished. Why don't we put our swords down, so to speak, and discuss our next move in a more civilized manner, say over a drink? On me. Beer. Let me tell you something about beer, Rose. It's fattening. I don't need that. What it does to my stomach, I certainly don't need that. But on days like this, it can be a lifesaver. So... So drink that before it gets warm. Saved. Saved. What about Harry? Harry? Yeah, what about Harry? Oh, 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 the doctor said that he had a virus. It wasn't food poisoning. What a shame. Shame? I thought you'd be thrilled to death that it wasn't your cooking that sent him to the hospital. Oh, I am, but it's a shame that I threw out a perfectly good batch of chowder. Yes, Mrs. Weber, please. Mrs. Weber, I see you've posted a notice for a temporary housekeeper. Experience? Yes, ma'am, I have lots of experience. Now the glasses are back here. Uh, you'll probably have enough liquor, but if not, Blackie the Parker will go downstairs and get you uh, some more at the cargo hold. This little jewel is the cash register. Make sure that you take extra special care of this little baby. <laughs> Look who's here. Miss Hill, Miss Templeton, so nice to see you again. Charmed, I'm sure. So clever with a turn of phrase, Miss Hill. And Jackie, I hope your sister's well. She's fine. She's in a room right now contemplating accepting gifts from strangers. She didn't like her little dog. Let's just say the ticking kept her awake at night. Bartender, would you fix Mr. Gray a drink, please? Brandy, please. Right. Well, here we are. But now? He drinks and we watch. I hope this is just brandy. 
Why don't you taste it and find out? Excellent. But I'm not here to sample your libations, Mr. Spencer. You're here for the sword. And you want the helmet. That seems to be the situation. Would you agree we're at an impasse? I would agree. Be reasonable, Mr. Spencer. These objects mean nothing to you. You don't care about them. Why risk all that's precious to you? This ship, your beautiful friends, your life, for something you don't really want. You're right. Then you'll give me the sword. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said you're right that I don't care about the sword. For all I care, you can take that sword and that helmet and anything else you like. Melt it down and make Captain Courageous decoder rings. What I want to know is why. Why what? Why do you want it? Why is it so important? What is behind all of this? I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. You mean you won't tell me that? The word is can't. I can't. You don't have the authority? Let go of me. All right, I'm gonna let go of you. And you get off my boat. And don't come back. But I'll tell you what you could do. You could run home to Mama. And you tell Mama that I'm waiting to talk to her directly. Because I've got the sword and she's gonna have to come after it. But if she wants it, she's gonna have to answer some questions, pal. I told you about underestimating the enemy. Robert, I'm not doing that. Believe me, I'm not. But we know what he wants, man. We know that he's after the sword. Yeah, well, maybe he's waiting for orders from whoever. Yes, maybe he is. But his last visit here was very obvious that he got those orders, and his orders are to recover that sword. And you made it very clear to him you'd only deal with the top banana. Yes, I know, but pal, he's a man in trouble. And a man in trouble is desperate, believe me. That means he's going to come after that sword himself. I know he is which you have safely tucked away, I'm sure. Only Flipper Flipper, King of the Sea, could find it. Believe big me. deal. What? Excuse me? I said a big deal. Is that all you're thinking about? The sword? What kind of attitude are you copying today? Look, I am taking the attitude of someone who cares about her sister. Hey, look. Nobody's forgetting about Laura here. Huh? Let's hope not. Because she is a lot more important than some stupid sword. Jackie, get over it for the 28,000th time. We cannot deal with Laura until we get a hold of Gray. Oh, well then why don't we get him? Because we're trying, but we have to put out a plan. It takes some time. Which, you know, sort of takes us in a full circle and back to the original question, huh? That's exactly the point. When is he going to make the move, and who is he answering to? Who is at the top? Mr. Gray, this is Ava at the Weber house. I've taken the entire downstairs apart. No, not yet, but I'm going to work on the upper floor now. Believe me, if it's here, I will find it. Ava! Dr. Weber! I decided to come back for a little bit. Ava, didn't the mail come? Mm -hmm. 